In this video we're going to be looking at having an enemy shoot at us. So to make your game more exciting you might want an enemy that can actually shoot at the player. So how do we do this? So first thing we've got is I've got my player already created and I've got my enemy in green. And now I need to create a gun for it to shoot. So I'm going to insert a new object and I'm going to create a new sprite and I'm going to call it gun. And I'm going to draw my gun like so. Really, really quick and simple design just for this video. Now, if you're having your enemy, and I really don't understand what's going on with this with construct, I've messed around the options, I can't work out why, but if your player is shooting from the right, you can create your gun like this. If you've got an enemy shooting from the left, what you actually have to do is flip your gun like that. So this is the barrel where you're shooting at, and this is the handle. Really, really bizarre. It breaks a lot of stuff if you don't do it this way. I'm not sure why. But carrying on anyway with the tutorial, what we need to do is set the image point or the rotation point to here. So when the enemy rotates, it's going to rotate around the handle instead of around this bit of thin air. Second thing we can do while we've got the gun is we're going to add a new image point. And this can be the barrel of our gun, so where we're shooting from. And we're going to set this to here. So we've got our two image points set up. First one being our handle, which is there. The second one being the barrel of our gun or where we shoot from. With that done, we can make our gun a more reasonable size and we can give it to our enemy. And it's going to look a bit silly upside down. This is temporary. So once we've got that set up, we can start getting it to actually rotate when the player is in sight of the enemy. So first we need to do is player two or our enemy. We're going to give it a new behavior. And the behavior we're going to give it is line of sight. So let me just delete that and add it again so you can see where it is in the options. And this one here. And this will check if we can see the object before we do sync. So your enemy is not going to be always shooting when your player is off screen. It's only going to start shooting if it can see your player. So what we can do is we can set up some things about the line of sight. So it starts off with 10,000, which is humongous. If you're playing around, 600 is a good one for my game but this is something you play around with and then the cone of view is how far it can see so can it see behind or in front of it i'm going to show you a way that you can also implement something like this with the code so i've got this set up now so now we can check if the player is in range of the enemy or not so we're going to go to our vent sheet now we're actually going to use that line of sight and we're going to check this. Oh, we're actually just going to use the line of sight because it works every tick already. So we don't need to add that. So we're going to go down and has line of sight to object and player. Hit done. If so, what do we want to do? We want to take our gun. And we're going to set angle towards position. And this is going to be player.x and player.y. So we're going to rotate the gun to face the player. And hit done. So now we've got that set up, we can test it. And you'll see that now I'm in range, the gun will point towards where the player is. Now you'll see that, oh, we've restarted because I've gone off the screen, but you'll see that when I get behind the enemy, it starts shooting backwards as well. And we might not want it so the player can shoot backwards at us. So I'm going to show you a quick fix for that. So you can set this up with the cone range. That can be a bit hard to do with platform games. So what we can do instead is we can go gun and we can set angle and we can use what's called the clamp function. Now what the clamp function does is it takes whatever argument you've put into it, in this case where the player's position is and what angle to face according to that and it reduces that number down to your set range. So our set range is going to be first of all the current angle. So we're going to take gun dot angle. And then we're going to say it can only be in the ranges of 90 and 270. Like so, and then hit done. And then if we test that again, you see we've got the gun there. And then once it gets behind, he just drops his gun because he can't reach behind us anymore. So this is something you can set up. You can also set it up so the player turns around and starts shooting in the opposite direction as well, which would make a lot more sense. The clamping can still be applied there. So now we've got that set up, we just need it so it actually starts shooting at us. So for that, we need to add a bullet. So we're going to insert a new object. Scroll down to sprites. I'm going to call it bullet. Insert. 
we're going to draw what our bullet looks like. So really simple shape there and crop. But you can create obviously your bullet to look like what you want it to in your game. And we're going to decrease the size. Next we're going to right click and we're going to insert the behavior and we want the bullet behavior near the bottom like so. So now that's done we can close this window and now we can get it so it shoots at us. Now we could add the shooting function here but this is going to cause some issues because we want to actually control how fast the enemy can shoot. So instead we're going to add a new event, player 2 and we're going to first of all check if it's got line of sight of our object just like before. But this time we're also going to add a second condition. So both these conditions need to be true before the enemy can shoot. And this one is going to be every X seconds. So we're going to set that to one. So now the enemy can only shoot every second. Add action. And what we're going to say is gun. Scroll down until you see the spawn new object option. And bullet. Finally, we want to change the image point to 1, which we set up as our barrel earlier on, and hit done. And with all that set up, once I get in line of sight of my enemy, he should point his gun at me, and he'll start shooting where I'm facing. Now, if I just quickly restart this, there is one more tiny issue that we could fix, is the second I'm in line of sight, the enemy shoots at me, which doesn't give my player much time to react like straight away. I've got no time to react there. After that, I can react because I know the enemy is shooting at me. So to fix that, we're just going to go to our event sheet, add an action under system. And we're going to add in this weight. I'm going to add in a weight. Could be 0.5, could be 1 second. And we're going to put it at the start here. This means now it will still shoot every second. But the first bullet's got a half second delay on it. So now when we load this up again points the gun and then he starts shooting. So he's still shooting every second, but we've added that internal delay at the very start, which can be changed during just this timer here. So that's how you have an enemy to shoot the player. I'm gonna put out a separate video on how to deal with the player getting shot, the enemy getting shot, and adding in stuff like health bars as well.